Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Z the Crypto Miner, and today I'm bringing you an update video on how I got paid 10 times in just one month. So let's get into it. All right, YouTube, we're back. Um, if we take a look at my Robinhood's account, I got paid 10 dividends, and I'm gonna go over every single dividend and my best paying dividend that I have so far, and one huge dividend that I have coming this month. So we take a look at my account today, I almost broke even, lost $2 or so, but overall I'm up 11.77%, around $949. I've been growing this account slowly over time. I had a big push there, but that, that don't really count because I had a very small account and I had did a, a, a trade option for that spike right there when I didn't really know what I was doing. But now that I'm steadily uh, investing in dividends, my account is growing slowly, about a percent a month over time. So if we take a look at my stocks, I have AMD, Google, Netflix, Disney, Facebook, uh, Waste Management, Water, um, Ford, AT&T, Coca-Cola, SPHD, it's monthly paying dividend, AGNC, SPYD, INTC, Intel, NRZ, uh, VOO, O, and CTRE. Now, if we take a look at which ones pay me dividends this month, I'm going to go into my account, um, go into my history. All you have to do is hit filter and then click on dividends. So let's scroll back to September. Right here, I got paid uh, 15 cents from Ford because I own one share of Ford at the time. I think I own three shares of Ford, but Ford was paid 15 cents per share. Not too bad for Ford. I think Ford has a dividend payout of 7.84%. So it's not bad if you guys want to pick up on Ford over the last five years, it has been on a downtrend. So it might be a, a, it might be a good time to buy while it's low. I could see Ford recovering over time. Ford is a, a stock that people has been holding for 50, 60, 70 years. So I don't think Ford is going anywhere. The next stock that paid me was Intel, INTC. This one paid me 63 cents. If I click on Intel, I own two shares of Intel and they paid out 31 cents per share. If we take a look at Intel, Intel price right now is at $50.55. This year they had an explosive gain of $16. 48% and I currently right now on one share of Intel. I think I sold it and bought a better dividend um, stock that pays monthly. So Intel dividend yield is 2.57%. That's probably why I sold my other share because I wanted something with a little bit more high, with a higher yield. If we back out of that, the next one is AGNC. Okay, this one is a monthly paying dividend. It paid me a total of $1.44, um, 16 cents per share. At the time, I held nine AGNC. Right now, I own 40 shares of AGNC. So yeah, I expect to get paid a lot more AGNC in the next um, month or so. And this one has a high dividend yield of 12.31%. Um, a lot of people don't like any dividends in the double digits because they don't think that that company could stay profitable paying out that much. But this one is a REIT, so uh, I like AGNC. I pretty do. I pretty much do. So at the time, I held nine shares and now I own 40 shares. So I'm going to see a big bump in AGNC in the following month. The next one is O. Okay, this is a van. No, this is a, a, a real estate a REIT. Um, I own three at the time. This one paid me a total of 68 cents, 22 cents per share. If we take a look at uh, realty income, it's $77. Over the past five years, it's been up 89%. And this one pays a dividend payout of 4.19% according to Robinhood. It might vary here and there. Robinhood is pretty accurate on their dividend payouts, but on some of them, they overshoot it. And on a few of them, they undershoot it. So um, sometimes you have to do your own research to make sure that before you buy a stock based off dividends that it's actually paying out that dividend. So right now I own three shares of O. The next one is in 
uh, one that I'm probably gonna buy a lot more of and invest a lot more into into the future, which is WM Waste Management. This one paid out 51 cents per share. So I got paid a um, dollar and 54 cents this month. I own three shares. If you take a look at waste management the last five years, it's just one steady increase. Everyone's seen waste management. It's the, it's the dumpsters with the WM on it. It's green and yellow. So over the past five years, it's been a steady incline, no dip at all, up $68 the last five years, 142%, and pays a dividend payout of 2.09%. Now I know for a dividend portfolio, this is not a high dividend payout, but I bought this one because I love the, the growth of WM. Uh, people are always gonna have to get rid of trash. And so this is my growth slash dividend uh, stock that I like to invest into. And right now it is $115.71. Let's back out of that. The next one is one that I recently acquired, which was the SPYD. I bought four shares of it paying out 44 cents per share and I and I got paid $1.79 last month. If we take a look at SPYD, it is a SP SPYD is a portfolio of the SP500 high dividend ETF. Right now it's at $37. The last 5 years it's been on a steady incline up 22.69% and if we take a look at the dividend payout it is above over four i like any dividends over four this one pays 4.87 percent all right so that is now on eight shares of spyd and i should be getting paid twice as much next month from spyd all right so the next one is a monthly paying dividend that i absolutely love that i own a lot of it would be sphd um, the number of shares I own is 25 and I got paid $3.80. Now I will be getting paid around $3.80 every single month because it's a, this is a monthly paying dividend. We'll take a look at SPHD. Now I own 26 shares the last five years. Uh, it's a power shares S&P 500, high dividend portfolio as well, low volume. So it's not really for growth, but it's for high dividend payout. So this one has grown 34% in the last five years. The last year is up mm, almost half a percent, but not quite half a percent. So not bad. But if you collect those dividend payouts, this one pays a total of 4.9%. So that is a great dividend yield for me, especially that it's paying out monthly. I'm able to reinvest that back into the stock market and let that snowball effect turn my little bitty ice cube, my little bitty ice cube into a, a great big snowman and eventually into a house size snowball. Okay guys, so that's SPHD and I got paid that one on September 30th. The next one I have is SBR. I think I ended up selling this one. This one paid out um, 24 cents. I owned one at the time and I did sell it. This one do have a um, high dividend yield of 8.98%, but I didn't like the market cap size. The market cap was under a billion. I like my market caps to be over a billion. So anything under six, 700 million for the market cap, I didn't like it. And over the past five years, it's been up and down, up and down. Not really sure where it's going. So I ended up selling this one and buying, I think, Coca-Cola with it. Which leads me to my next one, actually, uh, Coca-Cola. Uh, paid me $1.60 for owning four shares. I think I own four shares now, which have a dividend payout of 3.29%. Um, if I gotta explain to you what Coca-Cola is, whew, you need to get from under the rock, okay? Coca-Cola is going to be around. Market cap is $233 billion. So this is also a growth company. Um, over the past five years, it's up 25%. And then the last one is VOO, is Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. This one paid out um, $1.30 per share for a total of $2.60. And if we take a look, um, Van is $268. This is a Vanguard account. It's not really for dividends. This one is just to grow your portfolio over time. 
VOO and it has a dividend payout of 1.93%. And if we take a look at the next ones coming up in October, I have AGNC uh, that I bought a lot more shares. I'm going to get paid $3.04 from AGNC. Uh, CTRE, I'm going to be getting paid 68 cents. And O, I'm going to be getting paid 68 cents. And NRZ, the banger, I'm going to be getting paid $35 from NRZ. So this is going to be a big month for me. And it still have um, SPHD to add on, and SPYD to add on, and O to add on to my pendings for October. They don't all appear at once, but they will appear by the end of October. So October is gonna be a big dividend month for me, especially because of NRZ. But yeah, guys, this is my dividends portfolio and how I got paid $10.27 in one month. So yeah, so I did get paid 10 paychecks, but it was only $10.27. Um, if I continue to grow this account over time, it will go from $10 to 12, 12 to 20, and 20 to 40, and then 40 to 100, to two to three to 400 dollars every single month in the coming years. As long as I keep reinvesting and adding more money into this account that I'm gonna journey, that I'm gonna keep adding on YouTube so you guys can keep track of my progress and my success and also my failures. If you guys want to keep up track with how I do with this account that's gonna be eventually 10,000 soon, go on ahead and hit the subscribe button. Here we go. If you guys already have a Robinhood account, just go down to the comment section and leave some good stocks that you guys are planning on investing into this year. If you don't have a Robinhood account, they offer free commission, just like all the other brokers now, but it's you can do it from your phone and it's pretty simple. If you don't have one, there's a link down in the description. All you gotta do is click it, sign up, and you'll get a free stock. And I'll also get a free stock and come back to this video and leave a comment down on what free stock that you receive from me. But other than that, guys, this is Zeke the Crypto Miner bringing you an update and I'm out. Peace.